So today we are going to cover the topic of uh, basic queries in Django and uh, I have prepared a model for that. So we have a model named student, have a name and a student uh, study program for the student and I also wrote a very simple uh, string function uh, which returns name, program and ID uh, of the student so it will be so it would be easier for us to go through this topic and I already opened the shell and I guess the first thing that we can cover is creating that object so we have a student here and to create the student we write student objects basically objects is a manager uh, of this model student if you want to check out the information about managers you can find the link in the description basically objects is a manager uh, of our model and if you want to find more information about managers you can uh, look into the description and find the link to the lesson uh, but for now we are not going to focus on managers but more on what managers can do and managers can do a lot of different operations as for example create and here we write for example john study program uh, let's say psychology and when we create an object, uh, we need to save it. And now uh, we can also query this single object because we already saved it in the variable. Uh, and we also see the string representation of that. Second thing that I wanted to show you is a update operation. Uh, for example, our student decided to change his program to computer science and so uh, we call an object and we call this field program field and just change it like this it's not a program it's a study program uh, just in the in the string representation I just wrote program for the simplicity but actually uh, the field called study program so I need to do that I need to save and now the program has changed now we already have uh, this student saved in a variable but for example what if we need to retrieve it well we can retrieve it for example knowing the ID of this person so we can write for example student objects get and we write an ID and we receive the same object here just knowing its ID uh, for example we can also uh, get an object using the name and let's see what happens if we have different student which will have the same name So we have created this new student and uh, also if you want to retrieve all the objects we write student objects all and we see that we have two guys with the name John And basically if we 
are trying to receive uh, this object uh, using get and specifying uh, not ID but some field, uh, we need to be sure that uh, we have only one object uh, with the name John. Of course, uh, there is a uh, actually different way to retrieve it using filter. So if you use filter and name John, uh, then we can uh, get all the objects uh, with the name John. <coughs> but if you use get, uh, we need to make sure that only one object uh, with the requirements exists. One more thing to discuss is a comparing object objects. Uh, for example, let's uh, well, let's just change study program of this new student that we have just created to also computer science. And now we see that we have uh, basically two guys with the same fields name John program computer science name John program computer science and Yes, so we have student and student new uh, the only thing that uh, is uh, missing here is uh, the only thing that is, uh, which is different is ID so basically if we try to compare the students we will receive false even though uh, both of the students have basically the same fields and the logic behind that is that uh, we can actually uh, the thing is that when we compare two objects basically we compare primary key uh, in this case uh, this is id so here it's 12 and here it's 13 so it's different and basically uh, Django uh, comparing objects in this way so the only way to uh, receive true for that is actually to have the same exact uh, object and one more thing to show you is uh, deleting for example we have this student if you want to delete it we write dot delete and basically that's it and now if we take a look at all of the students uh, we have only one we can also delete some particular object using the id for example in this case um, it's the only object in a, in the table uh, with id 13 we can delete it and then we don't have anything so we can also for example let's just create not like this but let's create two students with the name John and so we have uh, somehow we have three but uh, it's okay so anyway we have several students named John and we can actually delete all of them uh, using filtering so we say student objects filter name equals John delete and that's it now we don't have anything and one more thing let's uh, let's once again create the student and we can also uh, delete all the objects of the model and we do that by student objects all for example right now we have only one guy here and we can 
say student objects all dot delete and we delete everything and now nothing is here so uh, that was basically it i try to show you all the basic operations that you can do uh, with the model and i hope it was useful to you